so here we'll find out the integration of one upon t zero to t sine two omega t dt. Find out the average of sine two omega t. Now you know the integration that this is zero to t integration of sine two omega t. You can write that minus cos two omega t upon two omega zero to t because cos derivative is minus sine and sine integration is minus cos and two omega will be divided if you know the basic integration. Of trigonometric function, so it is one upon. I'll take outside two omega t. This will become two cos two omega t minus cos zero. Now we know that time period t is equal to two pi by omega. So I'll replace this t. So what I'll get one minus. Two omega t cos two omega t is two pi by omega 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 cancel minus cos zero. Now cos four pi. What is the value of cos four pi? Cos four pi is one. How you know the ASTC formula? Cos zero. This is pi by two. This is zero. This is Pi. This is three pi by two. This is four pi. Two. This is two pi. So you can see cos zero is one. Cos pi is minus one. So next time when it will come, that means cos pi two pi. Here it will become cos three pi. Cos three pi will be minus one, and cos four pi will be one. So Cos you can say two n pi is one. That means n starts from zero. Cos zero is one. Cos if you put one. Cos two pi is one. If you put two. Cos four pi is one. Cos three. Cos six pi is one. So cos two n pi is one. So here what we will get one upon two omega t cos Four pi that is one, cos zero is also one. So one minus one, zero zero multiplied by some number that is zero. So average value of sine two omega t. Average value of sine two omega t. Average value is zero. Average value. Average value is zero. Thank you.